Welcome to part two of my uh, little grilling series, how to light the Kamado. Um, I've tried several methods and some have worked and some haven't. Uh, generally, when lighting my uh, Weber kettle, I use the, uh, the Weber's chimney. Uh, and again, if you're doing steaks, pork chops, something with high heat, you can just fill the whole thing up. Uh, for this, when I'm doing steaks or that sort of thing, I'll just maybe half fill it and then add it on top of the charcoal. Um, and it seems to work fine, that method for high heat. Um, but the problem with all Kamados, it uh, doesn't matter the brand, uh, the one common theme is they insulate so well that the biggest problem is they over, overheat. If you, if you shoot through your target temperature, if you shot for 225 and all of a sudden you find yourself at 250, 275, it's very hard to get that temperature back down and stabilize and you start chasing that temperature and now you got a nightmare of a cook. And uh, There's some techniques you can do, uh, opening the lid, letting the heat come out, close it while you're closing down the vents, but generally um, any of those methods, once you shoot through that temperature, is uh, uh, going to create a bad day. Uh, so what I've done is I try to start very slowly, get up to temperature, and uh, as you do a search of other videos, you'll see that people will leave this open for a while. I've learned not to leave it open very long, maybe two minutes at the most, and then I want to close this down and let it kind of creep up to my temperature. And if I stall, I'm going to stall low, because it's easy to bring these up. It's not so easy to uh, bring them down. So I open it all the way up. And I use one of these Weber uh, lighter cubes, and I actually cut them in half when I'm smoking, and that's the, the box. And then you just put it down down in your chimney, down in your uh, charcoal. And you kind of give her a light, and that's it. And we're just going to let her light up here. She'll bring it pretty quickly. She will light, and in about two minutes, what I'll do is I'll put this grate on here. This is, uh, this is just a Weber 18-inch charcoal grate used for my lower diffuser and what I use as a diffuser is I'll use a pizza pan. It's a standard pizza pan I wrap with aluminum foil to keep the drippings off and uh, that'll go on top and then your grill goes on top of that. And that's basically how I'll start her. So very shortly I will be closing this lid and just letting her up and get up to temp. And when you get, you know, 100 degrees out you want to bring this down by half. Another 50 degrees you want to bring it down half again and you just want to ease her up to that temperature. Thanks for watching.